Okay, so this is a very quick example on how to use uh, Creosan to export DXF files from Creo. So you're probably wondering, what is Creosan? Well, Creosan is an open source JSON uh, microserver that is connected to JLink and Object Toolkit, which ultimately connects to the modeling kernel of Creo. Uh, we've been using this for quite a while, and we decided to open source this with a generic JSON interface so that any programming language could come in and communicate with Creo uh, bidirectionally. So the big question is, okay, well, what's JSON? Well, JSON is a standard kind of text data structure uh, that all programming languages can leverage. And what it looks like is this. It's basically just a key value pair, and we've kind of created this structure so that it's very easy to kind of understand and follow. So in this case, the Creosan structure is focused around what is the command we're going to run, what is the function we want to run within that command, and then what type of data or options uh, go with it. So there's many different ways to do things within Creosan. There's a lot of options. So if you were to come and take a look at the function list, and in this case, we're going to take a look at the export file command, you'll notice that um, the specification kind of gives you a rough idea of what you can do and what you can't do. And there's also several examples of how to create these JSON structures so that they work properly. So in this particular example, we're going to be using Creosan from a web page that is actually hosted by the Creosan little microserver. So there's really only a couple things that this does. The, there's a main function here called connect and export DXF. And it first starts off by connecting to Creosan. And then once it's made that connection, it then runs this Creosan export DXF which is running the function we were looking at before. After it runs that, it will then disconnect from Creosan and then just stop. So we're going to switch over to a Windows machine and view the same web page, uh, but actually run it uh, through Creosan next. So in this uh, live demonstration, we actually have a Creosan server running. We've started it from command line here. And we have Creo, of course. And then we have a web page that we were looking at in the other window. This folder structure that you see over to the right is actually the working directory of the, the information that's in Creo right now. And all I've done is just bind this button to actually run that Creosan function uh, to do the, the exporting of the DXF. So when I press this button, you can see just that quickly. It is connected uh, to, to Creo. It has supplied the JSON document, which uh, runs the export command for the DXF. And then it brings back a result to indicate that it did it successfully, and it gives me the name and the location of where it went. So if you look up here in this working directory here, you'll see that the, uh, the DXF file has been created. And if we drag that over to Creo, and then just open it with the defaults, you'll notice that the DXF file has, in fact, been imported um, correctly uh, from what was generated of the original Creo drawing.